hilly terrain around Halifax was ideal for sheep. Their wool and the plentiful supplies of soft-flowing water created hundreds of cottage industries devoted to the making of cloth. The finished pieces of cloth were left out in the fields to dry and became easy prey to thieves. But in stealing the cloth, they risked a terrible retribution. This is the Halifax gibbet. First used in the 13th century, it claimed its last victim in 1650. Between those years, if you were convicted of stealing anything to the value of just over a shilling, or sixpence in today's money, you would almost certainly have been sentenced to death. As the gibbet blade was about to fall, the thieves would pray, from hell, Hull and Halifax, good Lord deliver us. The Industrial Revolution changed everything. The textile industry rapidly expanded, and dozens of mills were built to feed the insatiable world demand for Halifax worsted cloth. Holdsworth Mill is one of the few still remaining, a reminder of a way of life that dominated Halifax for more than a century. Many other businesses developed in the shadow of the woolen mills, and Halifax became known as the town of a hundred trades. In the 20th century, one of those trades was road safety. Percy Shaw, who was born in the building behind me, invented the reflective road stud, known universally as the cat's eye. They still produce more than a million a year, and Percy, who died in the 1970s, became a multi-millionaire.